guys, it's John from the Productive Garden.com and today we're going to be looking at making a habitat for uh, attracting beneficial insects to your garden. It's pretty easy to make and I'll show you what you need to make it. Alright, now to make this, one of the things you'll need is a post. I've got this nice treated timber post here. Um, you don't have to get anything as fancy as that. It can be a round one, it can be any type of post. It's going to be reasonably... Um, reasonably well weathered so, it's, so it doesn't go rotten in the ground because it's going to be positioned in the ground. You might also need some pipe. Now you don't need pipe this big. This is old um, what they used for doing sewer pipe in the area a few years ago. Um, it's probably bigger than what you need but it's what I've got and it doesn't cost me anything so it's what I'm going to use. Okay, a couple of bits of timber, just short bits of timber. They're going to be for making one of the, um, the habitats. Um, you want some screws to be able to fix this timber to the pole. You want some strapping. Now, I'm using, you don't need the strapping. This strapping I'm going to use to fix the bits of pipe to the post. Uh, if you've got smaller bits of pipe, you would be able to get the actual, um, the actual brackets that fix them to walls and that sort of thing. But because this doesn't normally fix to walls, it doesn't have brackets that fit it. So I'm just going to make my own brackets out of this timber strapping. You need some mortar. Okay, now the idea of mortar, not cement, because mortar is much softer and um, certain types of um, native bees, solitary bees, those sort of things do burrow into mortar to make their nest. So that's what we need that for. And various sticks. Now I've got some bits of palm frond. Got a stick from a local potosterum tree. Got a stick from one of our local eucalyptus trees. So you need all different sticks, different sizes, different types of trees, um, just all different types of sticks. Okay, so we're cre creating basically three different types of habitats. Now with this, with the pipe, you'll be cutting, cutting that up into lengths. Now there's no set length. You can make them as long or short as you like. Um, as long as they're not that long that people are going to knock their heads off it, off with it or anything like that. But um, yeah, there's no set rules, but I'm going to make mine probably about a foot long okay I'm not going to measure them exactly I'm just going to cut them about a foot long and you need um, or these the pipe caters for two types of environment um, how many use depends on you how many you use depends upon you what you want to do um, <clears throat> one environment that you'll make is that'll be the, be where the mortar goes and the other one will be for jamming a whole lot of sticks into and uh, we'll talk a bit more about each of those environments a little bit later on so anyway, first thing I'll do is I'll cut a couple of lengths and I'll get the mortar starting to set. Okay, so we'll get on to that. Alright, so the first thing we need to do, or the first thing you want to do is mix up the mortar and put it in the pipe or pipes that you are going to have the mortar in. The reason you want to do that first is if you do that second then you'll have, you'll have everything else done then you'll have to wait for the mortar to set. So we do that first, that way the mortar can set overnight and then you can start working on the other things that you're going to add to this insect habitat. So we'll get, get started mixing the mortar and then we'll fill up the pipe with the mortar. Alright, now I'm using pre-mixed mortar. Um, it doesn't have to be pre-mixed if you've got your favourite mortar that you want to mix yourself, then that's fine. Um, the main requirement is that it's not too hard, it's not hard like cement, because you want the bees to be able to um, get their little burrows in the stuff. So 
You want something that's reasonably soft. And you don't have to worry too much, you're not holding the house up with it. You just want it to stay inside the pipe. The other thing too with the mortar is like this is just going to be a straight sort of typical cement sort of colour but if you wanted to if you wanted to colour the mortar that would be fine. The um, main thing is that make sure what you're using to colour the mortar isn't going to be toxic or anything like that because you don't want the wasps to dig it in there and then get poisoned by the mortar and die anyway so um, and the native bees and those sorts of things. So just make sure that it's non-toxic if you do want to colour it. If you're not worried about the colour, just yeah, leave it the colour it is. Anyway, now what we have to do is fill the pipe. Okay, now to fill the pipe, what I've got, I've got it sitting on a bit of wood here. And basically that's going to hold the mortar in. You're just going to be using like the pipe sitting on the wood. Um, and a little bit of mortar might seep out, that's no big deal. All you want to do is have most of it just sit in there. So, we'll start filling this pipe up. And as we go, we also need to add a bit of wire, which I forgot to mention in the um, materials that you need. I've got some, just some bits of scrap wire, these sorts of things, and a bit of this. And basically all that is, is it's just there to give the, um, give the mortar some structure when you put it in there so it doesn't like, break in half inside of it. It's gonna stop the... Um, yeah, it's going to stop basically cracking in half inside and then just falling out. So hopefully, it'll give it a bit of strength. So we'll put a bit more water in, then we'll pack a bit of wire in. And every now and then, you want to just give it a bit of a tamp down so you take out any air bubbles that might be in there, any air, air gaps. Okay, that should be pretty good. We'll get a bit of wire in there. Put this bit in. And we'll get this bit and just fold it down a bit more. And these are just scraps, scrap wire, they're not anything special at all. So, okay, so we'll just sit these in here. Doesn't matter if they touch the side of the, um, of the pipe, they're going to stay in there anyway. And don't push it down too far, we don't want it poking out the other side. Okay, and then we'll finish filling the pipe up. Obviously, with the wire there, it's a bit hard to always tamp it down, but just tamp it down as best you can. It doesn't matter if you push the wire around a bit, it'll, it'll still be in there. great thing about attracting beneficial insects to your garden is that some of it, especially the ones that we're doing here is like the things that we're attracting are things like spiders that's where the sticks will come into play um, they obviously they eat other insects they also provide a source of um, nutrition for other um, predatory animals wasps and stuff sometimes use spiders to um, provide a source of nutrients for their young when they um, when 
when they are born, when they hatch from their eggs. Um, and those wasps are also useful in your garden because they're also pollinators. So you're attracting pollinators to your garden as well. Um, the native bees are also pollinators and some of your wasps also take caterpillars and those sorts of things and, and provide them to their young as nutrient for when they hatch. And that's what the, the wasp pupae eat when they're, first, when they're first hatched. So that's the sort of thing that you're trying to do with all this stuff. You know, we're just about at the top of the pipe here. down and then we'll just smooth it off. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my bits of timber. Hold this still so it doesn't tip over. Rightio, so that's smoothed off there. I'm going to leave that overnight here to set um, to set hard and then tomorrow we'll be able to fix it to the post. Now Obviously, the bigger the pipe you use, the heavier it's going to be with the mortar in there. So, because it's a pretty big pipe, I'm going to, probably going to use two bits of strap to be able to hold it in place. If you had a smaller pipe, obviously what you'd have to use to hold it in place is going to be less. So, depending upon the pipe you use, be, um, be aware of how much support you're going to have to use to be able to hold that bit of pipe in place. Anyway, so that's the pipe. We'll get working on the other bits that we need for this insect habitat. All right, so it's been a couple of days and the pipes full of mortar are all complete and set. And now it's time to prepare the bits of timber for some resin bees and also for predatory wasps. So I've got two drill bits here. I'm going to be drill drilling a series of holes just in random sort of places in the big bit of wood. I've got a four millimeter drill and that's the size you need for the resin bees in Australia. And we've got a six millimeter drill, which we're going to do holes for predatory wasps. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing them on two sides um, of the wood, and then it'll be fixed in the center to the post. So we'll get there and drill these holes in this bit. And we're drilling them about an inch deep, two to two, two to two and a half centimeters. Alright, so that's it. All the holes are drilled. Now, I've got a whole lot of holes in there. I don't know if all of them will be filled by um, resin bees and wasps, but the more the merrier. So that's two bits of wood done. Now what I've got to do is collect up some sticks and stuff to put into some other bits of pipe. And basically the sticks are for um, spiders and what other predatory um, insects to live in and you know what if some pest insects live in there that's fine because they'll just be food that'll lure the predators in so I'll go and collect some sticks and we'll come back fill these and then fix them all to the post all right now we've got the pipes full of um, mortar got bits of wood with the holes drilled out and we've got a couple of bits of pipe with a whole lot of sticks some dead sticks some live sticks um, some with leaves on them some without and basically what you want to do is you want to pack them in there reasonably tight so they're not going to fall out. So if I hold that up, they're going to stay in. Okay, and all different textures, different sizes, just so there's a variety of um, environments available to, um, to the spiders and any other insects that might want to live in there. Now, to attach this, I'm just going to use a, um, a timber screw and that attaches the, the wooden bits. Now they're easy to attach, not a problem at all. Okay, so I'll get this one in. All right, we've got this bit of wood attached. Now I'm going to attach this pipe with the mortar in it. And the way that the um, way the pipes get attached with the sticks and the other pipe will obviously be the same. Okay, now to fix the bits of pipe to the post, what I'm going to use is steel straps. And basically they're gonna go around the pipe and screw tightly into the post. So what I'll do first, I've just got this being held in place by a bit of um, bit of wood so it doesn't roll. I'm gonna get a couple of screws. And 
and we'll just put a screw in place at the bottom, what will be the bottom, to just hold the, the bit of strap in place. Okay, and we'll do the other strap as well, get that held in place. Okay, now they're held in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll the bit of pipe up against the strap so it gets a nice tight fit around it. And then what we've got to do is let's take this bit of wood out, push the pipe down around, or push the sorry, push the strap down around the pipe. And then we're going to use the screw that we put in to get the strap nice and tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in a hole that still hasn't been pushed down onto the timber, onto the post, and push that up again. It can be useful to have someone helping you hold this, but I just haven't got anyone at home to do that at the moment. Alrighty okay, now we've got that screwed in nice and tight on this one, and then we'll get this strap push down nice and tight as well. Okay, so we've got those straps fixed nicely in place. What we'll do is we'll just put a couple more screws in just to make sure we've got this nice and tight so the strap doesn't come apart somehow. And it also helps just to tighten it down that little bit more. Just got some screws in the end of the straps just to hold them down reasonably flat so they don't stick out. Um, no one should be brushing up against this anyway, but if we just keep them nice and close to the wood, then it's less likely to happen. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'll fix the rest of them. I've got the other bit of wood, the pipes with the sticks, and the other pipe with the mortar in it, and I'm going to be placing them around the four sides of the post um, just to make it look a little bit balanced. Um, so. With the, with the ones with the sticks, they're getting fixed on the same, except I'm only going to use one strap because obviously these are a lot lighter than what these bits of pipe with the mortar are. So I'll fix the rest of these on and then we'll come back and we'll look at putting this post into the ground and fixing it upright. Okay, we'll be back when we're ready to put it in the ground. Okay, now I've got the post in the ground where I want to put it. I've dug a hole and I've dug a hole 60 centimetres or two feet deep um, to give it plenty of hold. Now what I've got here... I've also got a post level, this orange thing here, that's got a spirit level on both sides, so you can make sure you get the post nice and level. So I'll get it somewhere close to level. Okay, so that's about where we want it. Now I'll just push a bit of dirt in to the hole. Now I'm not going to cement this post in, I'm just going to put it in the dirt and fix it in the hole with the dirt that came out, because if I want to take this post out, I don't want to be dragging a heap of cement out as well. And what I'm going to use to tamp the dirt down is just the flat end of my six foot bar. So I'll start doing that. While I'm doing it, I'll make sure I've got things reasonably level. Okay. And I'll start pushing this dirt down. Now once I've got a bit pushed down, then I'll put a bit more dirt in and then tamp a bit more down. You want to get it nice and solid. All right, that's already getting reasonably solid. I'll push, push a bit more dirt down.
Stir it down nice and solid. Okay, so I've got it in nice and solid now. You can see it's pretty solid there. It'll always wiggle around a little bit, that's what posts do. But there it is, we'll take the level off. And now we've got it, we've got the sticks for the spiders to live in. We've got the mortar for the blue banded bees to dig their little hives in. And we've got the bits of wood for the um, resin bees and for the predatory wasps to build their little nests in. And now we can have all these predators coming to our garden and hopefully cleaning up all the pests that are in our gardens. Anyway, that's it for now. And until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.